So David is my son, and uh, he lives to burn. Nah, not to burn. Um, and we'll talk to you about discussion, the fire. Yeah, I'm right. Okay, I'm happy to see so many of you in front of me, and I guess this is my first talk in my life. And today I'm going to tell you about the three, <coughs> the three types of fire in the universe. So first I'm going to tell you a little bit about me. I'm 11 years old, I go into 7th grade. Hey, get out of the way of Okay. <laughs> I lived in Switzerland for 5 years. And now I'm, I'm back to Romania. I meant to go tell my teaching people about the universe and about fire. There are three types of fire known to man. The first one is the common fire, where one molecule burns to form another. Like wood burns to ash of smoke, um, methane burns to form water and carbon dioxide. And what was for a measure of smoke and hydrogen burns to form water. Okay. The second type of fire known to man is the nuclear fire, where one atom burns to form another. So you've got a slow neutron that hits a big atom of uranium, splits it into two, gives energy to quick neutron light, and um, these two small neutrons go and hit more atoms. And those get split in two, give even more energy. And this, this, this fusion actually also happens naturally in the center of our Earth. Nuclear fire was first harnessed by man in 1945. Then in the Second World War, there was a single atomic bomb they burned uh, Hiroshima city in Japan. Get out of the way and play out. <laughs> Nuclear fire today powers our houses. Get up, get in the way of that sign and not in the way of the play out. <laughs> in this, in France, all the electricity that you have is power, is nuclear power. The, fu the, fu the fusion, fusion. fusion is when many protons hit together, make a big atom, emit neutrinos, a big, a a big atom, and energy, a lot of energy. This happens, this happens in, our, in, our star, in all the stars, like in our sun, and this is what makes all the stars in the sky shine. Fusion for, was first harnessed by man in 1961. Th that, was a, was a that, that was the biggest explosion ma mankind has ever seen on Earth. The Tsar Bomba was uh, the, biggest, uh, the biggest atomic bomb the people have made and, it and could destroy an uh, area the size of France. The third kind of fire known to man is the fire of creation. The world and everything was born, the world and universe and everything was born from it. A long, long time ago, when the universe was still young, it was smaller than a cup of tea. The fire of creation was hot enough to shake space time, space and, and space, space time together. The universe grew faster and faster. It still grows today. It still speeds up today, too. We don't quite know why, but we had to give it a name. It's called dark energy. At the beginning, it was too hot for atoms to be stable, too hot for water or a for rocks or air to exist. As the young universe grew, it cooled down. When it got uh, the heat of the center of the sun, it got cool enough for the first atoms to exist. When it got cooler than the sun, the, the, the fire stopped. The light started traveling through the, the, the light turned visible and started traveling through the universe. 
plenty of hydrogen was left unburned. We find it today in the water. When the, when the fire stopped, the light turned visible. But as the, as the universe still grew, the, it cooled down more and more. But this light is still here and all around us. We call it cosmic microwave vacuum. As the young universe expanded even more, a new kind of matter appeared. This mysterious particles turned into fuzzy balls. They attracted everything around them. The gases left over by the Big Bang fell in the middle of these balls. These balls we call stars. They burned their the, the first stars were big. They burned their fuel fast. At first, they burned um, hydrogen to helium ash, then, then helium they burned uh, to oxygen, carbon, and all the other elements. The, okay, let's and, and then the star explodes. We still see stars exploding today. We call them supernovas. When a star explodes, it sometimes leaves behind a black hole that curves space-time extremely once again. When stars explode, they, they throw stardust all over the place. And they, this stardust has heavy, has heavy elements like carbon, oxygen, and iron. This stardust then clumps into planets around the young sun, uh, around the young star, like the one we live on, Earth. The atoms of which we are made of are out of stardust. Hydrogen burns, burned once in the Big Bang, and everything else burned once in the Big Bang and once in a star. These are comments from the people all around the world. Okay. This book is available on Amazon too. Uh, these are also in the series. And that's thanks for listening. Any questions? <laughs>